In this tutorial, you will learn how to stake out a road model using the advantages of visualizing the data in cross-section view. Furthermore, you will learn how to create cross-sections at specific locations of the road model. If no road data is available, you can create a road model based on reference files, for example DXF, using the road wizard. For further information, please watch How to Create Roads Using the Road Wizard. For further information about the info panel values and how to use the offset tool, please watch How to Stake Out Road Files. From the home screen, we access the roading application. In this exercise, a road model is loaded. We select one of the road lines. We open View from the bottom bar and select Multi-View Config. We split the screen in 50-50 ratio. We open View again and select Cross Section, which we now see on the left side. The normal map view is still on the right side. In this exercise, we have finished the earth work and need to measure the current state before we can start to pave the road. We open the toolbox and select Active Layer. We switch from the current active layer to Theoretic. The cross-section view reflects the selected layer. Once more, we open View. This time, we select Viewing Options. We scroll down on the left side and tap on Vertical Exaggeration. In the new screen, we select 2 to 1 and tap on OK. Back on the map, the cross-section view changed accordingly to the chosen exaggeration. This helps visualizing low percentage slopes. We have now prepared our data and start working. We go towards the selected road line. When we are within tolerance, the pole position icon turns green on both views. The cross-section view also shows the height difference to the selected element. We measure and store the point. From the cross-section view, we select the embankment of the road. This so-called cross-slope is a surface between two adjacent road lines. In both cross section and map view, it highlights the appropriate cross slope in blue. In the info panel, we see the horizontal distance of our position to the intersection point on the cross slope at the same height. All roading values are visualized in the help function of the info panel. You can access them from the configuration page of the info panel. We measure and store a point. We walk further down the embankment and leave the design file. The message above the info panel informs us that no measurement can be done outside the selected cross slope. We open the toolbox and select Fixed Slope. This tool extends the cross slope while keeping its angle. We see the extended cross slope in the cross section view. We measure and store a point. We open the toolbox again and switch back to variable slope using the same button. We turn off the cross section view and activate the full screen mode. Next, we need to stake out the road at regular intervals and we will therefore create cross sections along the road model. We open the toolbox and select Create Cross Section. From the right side, we select Interval. We enter an interval of 20 meters, starting at 140 meters and ending at 445 meters. This results in 16 cross sections. We tap on OK. In the entered area, every 20 meters a cross section is created. This helps to stake the road in a regular interval. 
we select the line of the cross section and go towards it. Within tolerance, we measure and store the point. We open the tool again, but this time select Chainage. We enter a chainage of 254 meters and tap on OK. This option makes it easy to mark a specific location on the road model to stake it out. We select one point of the cross section. These points are created where the cross section intersects with the road lines. We measure and store the point. We exit routing and check the measured points in the report. In general, stakeout points measured against the road model are documented in the routing report. The exception are the stakeout points measured against the cross section. These points are related to database points and therefore documented in the stakeout report. That's it. You have learned how to use the cross section view for staking a road model and how to use active layer, vertical exaggeration, and fixed slope. You have also learned how to create cross sections to measure points on the road regularly or on specific locations.